I actually have some disassembled devices that I brought with me to show our audience how easy it is to put together. Obviously, the lid comes separate. This is the 150 ml. It's a little bit different from the 30 ml version, but they're both very easy to use. You can backfill this using pretty much any device. You saw Randall using that piston filler. You can do it directly from a syringe. Whatever your uh, EMP jar attachment is, any of that will work just fine. And you can actually put this directly on your scale. And by doing that, you can fill by weight. You don't have to do a specific gravity calculation to figure out the volume, right? So it's pretty cool in that fashion. And then it comes with two other pieces. This one is a diaphragm. It, it, it's somewhat similar to if you've ever worked with the AccuPen. Very similar in, in the filling instructions. So once you've put your base into the device, you're going to take this and you're going to use the flat side. This is the bigger part. This is the diaphragm. And this other part is very thin, disc-like, right? So you take the diaphragm and you're going to put it down flat part first into the cylinder. And you want to make sure that it stays level the full time as you push it down to come into contact with your cream base or your lotion. Once that's all the way in, there's a little vent right here. Can you see that? You want to make sure that you push that in and you can use your finger, you can use a paper clip, whatever you need to. Uh, you can use a glass stir rod if you have to. And that's, this is essentially your vent. So that's allowing the air to come out as you're pushing it down to come into contact with your cream. When you push it in, that's locking it in place so that there's not going to be any more movement of it within the cylinder. And so once that's in, you're going to take that slim cap and you're just going to snap it in place on the bottom. And when you're done, it's completely flush. And you can see here that gap between there because I pushed down that diaphragm to meet your cream base. So it's a very simple device to use as well as to fill. So for the patient as well as the pharmacy staff, it shouldn't pose any problems. Now the 30 mLs are a little bit different. Very, very simple. I actually think they're a little bit easier. Because on these, you've got your base part, and here you've got your cap part. Now the cap comes already attached onto the lid, but that's no problem, right? So on this, you can put that base directly on your scale. Fill it up using any of the devices that you use for your 150 ml. And when you're done, you just snap it together. Now you've got to make sure that you put a little bit of pressure on this, you know. Put a little muscle into it and you'll see the snaps and you'll feel the snaps and you'll see that it's completely sealed. Once it's all flush, you're good to go. But you want to always prime it for your patients so that when they go to use their first dose, they're getting a full dose. You know, sometimes those priming pumps, you're getting the air out, but you also might use half of a pump. You want your patient to make sure that they're getting a consistent, accurate dose with each one. So on any of the devices, mega pumps or otherwise, prime it first. <laughs>